Hello and hey, and today we're going to be messing around again with Golf With Your Friends, this time going to be on the Oasis course, going to give some of our tips and hole-in-ones that I, again, and my friends have found. So I'm not super confident in this course, but I do feel like I can help a lot of people because this one is probably the most wanted of uh, making the course easier. Uh, this hole, I'm not going to beat around too much with it. Basically, if you go anywhere from like right here to like right here on power, and just go straight forward and you're going to go ahead and go through that hole because you can phase through the ground as have been found out has been found out excuse me and then we'll get the two there's there's ways to get around but i, I don't know of the hole in one so i'm not gonna not gonna waste your time speculating on hole two we're gonna go ahead and go straight ahead and either take off about this much power or we can go full power and go a couple of pixels to the right and i actually like to do a little bit of combination of both we're gonna aim a little bit right and take a little bit off of it. So right about here should get her done. Ooh, I got a weird weird bounce there. That's actually scary. Yep. Of course, when I'm trying to do a tutorial, something that I've never seen before is going to happen, as is Oasis' favorite thing to do. So we're gonna, okay, go straight forward again. Take a little bit less off, I guess. I don't understand why that would be the case, but look out for that weird hop, I guess. That was unfortunate. And you're going to end up in the hole. Hole three, we're gonna go ahead and aim three bars at this corner, and it is pretty specific, so try to get exactly on that corner. Uh, there's a couple different ways you'll still go in if you hit that pixel. There's a couple pixels, I'm trying to say, but um, it is fairly strict, actually. Which, I guess it'd be a little bit surprising. So this one, we're gonna try to go as straight as we can. So we want the our indicator to straddle the line that we're currently on. And then that gives us a few extra pixels that we are safe with the power. So anywhere between like one and three quarters to one and five sixths is about where you wanna go. At least in my experience. Uh, this hole, we're gonna go ahead and tr aim at this particular intersection that the cursor is on right now. But we're going to give it a little bit more power. You can go full power. It makes the second shot a little bit more difficult. Take a little bit off of it. Uh, I think somewhere around here is actually about perfect as far as uh, my opinion goes. So maybe a little bit harder. Yeah, you definitely want to go a little harder than that. My apologies. And then we're going to go just over... Just around two and a half. We have to make it in there. We're not trying to go too hard. But I'm going to aim just a tiny bit to the left so we can get a little bit of bounces. Ooh, I bounced over the cup. But... If you do shoot a little bit better of a first shot, you are better set up for that one. And you should basically just expect a three at the very worst. And I'm okay with telling you that as a tip. So this one, full power. Uh, you're aiming to the right of that far pillar. So there's like one, two, three right there on the top of that hill. Because we're going to jump over with this hill and then bounce back. So there's like the one... And not the close one, the far one on top of the hill. Sorry, it's very hard to explain with just your words. Uh, we got one there. We got the second one there. And we have the third one there. We're going to aim just to the right of that. And we're going to pull this back probably about this much. The power isn't that specific. You just don't want to obviously go full power. And you obviously don't want to use too, too little so that you don't actually make the jump. So in between where I did and a few more pixels, you're not going to be too hard pressed to find what you're going to do. Uh, this one... There's a lot of different ways to get there. I actually haven't seen a hole-in-one yet. I'm going to go ahead and go full power at the second tile up intersection there. So, like, we're going all the way over here and then one over. And then we're going to look one, two. And so it's going to be right right here. And that gets us with a with a weird bounce. You'll either end up here you end up near the hole. It's, um, it's probably not the best um, chance. You're gonna have but you're always gonna have a possible shot other ones are going three or two and a half at around that same spot you might have to go a little bit more left for those but anyway i, I haven't seen a hole in one yet so i don't want to tell you exactly uh too many ways to get two so this one you can go up to three or up to full or you can turn around and go up to full there's a tons of different ways if you get the right pixel you will get a hole in one Everything else gets you really, really close for uh, the two there. So again, we're looking for another two as uh, the consistent strat and not the um, 
the whole one, which is really unfortunate. I hate to make something like this, but I just want to sort of reassure people that are also trying to find shots that if that shot's there, it's very, very, very hard to find and don't get discouraged. So we're going to aim near the pin, maybe a touch to the left of it. This is actually a terrible angle. Um, and the first shot, don't go exactly where I went. It's, it's sort of just a luck thing. As far as I know, you won't have enough power from any shot to come around here and then still have enough to clear the gap because as much as that is a jump pad, you do have to have some uh, considerable momentum to actually make it over into there. So I'm going to aim a little bit left and go just over half just because this is where I am. I don't, I'm not super confident on this shot. Yeah, as you can see, I, I didn't quite get it done, but that's about the power you want to use. Obviously a touch more and then you'll uh, have to aim better than that. That's, that's a terrible tutorial, and I agree with you. So, the terrible holes aside, in my opinion at least, um, I do have some tips. This one is where we're going to go for a two. If you can go up here and drain the shot, I think it's harder than just sort of more consistent this. We're going to go aim right at that dark square, which will put us over here. And we're going to go about three. And I would say... Just a touch left, maybe quite a bit left. We'll give this a shot too. We're gonna bounce, and that was the wrong way to go. My apologies. Shoot better, shoot better than me. As you can see, we're putting together a pretty decent round. I did have the mishap on two, but other than that, it's basically what you can expect from an from an average round of knowing what to do. So. I like to go for the pixel that's just left of the wall. When I say pixel, I mean the, the tile that's just left of the wall here and go just about over three. So we jump into the water just fine here. Again, you know that we're going to jump out of the water. Um, I'm not sure on the exact timing. You just kind of, as you're making that turn, you're going to jump out and you should make it basically every time. Uh, things do happen in the water that are not typical of behavior. So be typical behavior, excuse me. So beware and uh, get jump out if you can still land on that top part because you can still make it too but other than that you're gonna have a hard time it might even be beneficial just to jump out of the pool um, from a certain from certain shots I am really lisping hard I'm not sure what's going on there from here I like to go three and a half and aim towards sort of more the center kind of runs us, runs us around this wall excuse me and then we're gonna be able to go uh, high two and a half maybe around three going to aim right about at that point in the wall, but maybe a little more left because of where we are. And then we're going to need to time it. So again, this is ping based um, on mine. For my ping, I like to go about when it's uh, the nearer side is up. So like this, and then it'll generally push me over here. And you're going to have to, again, time it for yourself. I'm really sorry that this tutorial isn't more like this is absolutely what you do. Good luck, but there's a lot of ping things. A, a birdie on that hole is, uh, is definitely a victory in my book. On this one, again, another timing hole. I like to aim not along the light, the light lines, but about where the dark corner is that could, is nearest to us. And then I'll go right about one and five sixths. And then I'll wait till it, it's about to open, and then I'll release. Puts us over here. I'm sure you could do the same from over there. And even with the new sand pit thing going on in there, it uh, actually makes our shot harder, but it should make the loop people a little bit easier. I like to go about three and aim a little bit to the left of this pillar because we're trying to avoid the sand kind of as much as we can. Just because it's sort of a, uh, a newer thing and we want to stay out of it because it does take a ton of speed off the ball and it's hard to kind of judge that having not been in much sand previous to its implementation there. So that's my tip for a possible two with an easy three on that hole. And this one, pardon me again, we're going to go just under three and we're obviously going to wait till the mouth is, is about to open fully. And we're going to launch in. I found that just less than three makes us slow way down there. And then it, we shoot out and bounce off to a very favorable position here. So from here, you're going to want to aim just right of the hole and probably just over two in power. Uh, when I say the hole, I mean the crack in the door. I'm not super confident on this. I haven't done it a whole lot of times. Looks like we just missed. or we just got it. Excuse me. And then 
not quite going to make that, but if you put a little more power on it, I I would, I would, expe I would expect for you to be able to get there. So we're going to go full E from here. I think that's probably good. Just barely. Sorry for the frame drops. Ever since the most recent update, the 93, even with all the hotfixes, I've found that my frame, frame rate inside the pyramid is uh, rather atrocious. So my apologies again. I'm finding I have to apologize for a lot of these, and I apologize for that. Unironically. And then we were going to go ahead and go about three and a half, just right of that first star, which puts us on line for this. If you hit a perfect shot, you can get in a, a two situation here. Uh, I am not going to be the person that gets that done. So we're just going to pop up about here. I've never seen that happen before. And the word pop up was absolutely coincidental. What just happened? <laughs> going to love watching the video back on that one. I guess we're stuck with uh, easy three here. I hate that I can't give you better tips than this. I think the absolute best score is probably around a 30, 32 to 34. Uh, where someone actually finds out all the shots. But other than that, I think we're kind of stuck with what we got here. Uh, my tip on this one is to go full power, and then you see the top of this right ramp that I'm aiming at has three tiles on it. A dark tire that is dark, dark tile, excuse me, that is full. We're going to aim to the far right corner of it, the top right corner of it, I guess is, is the word I want to use, and then just a little bit more right of that. And then we're going to let go. We should bounce off the top of this urn and end up in a pretty favorable spot. From here, you will end up in different spots depending on where you ended, where you actually ended up flying off of that. I like to go about two and three quarters and then aim um, anywhere in between like halfway of this and then halfway of that, uh, depending on where I am. So it's just kind of more of a general thing. We're going to go two and maybe three fifths is a better term and aim. Let's just go right at it and see what we end up with. We got a chance here, technically. Yeah, we're going to get close. Um, for my particular shot there, I should have aimed a little further or a little harder, and we could have probably gotten a better result. Again, it's uh, educated guesses at this point for me in Oasis. Uh, you go full power, you can go as close as you can to that at, at edge. There's actually I was like a, a huge range of pixels that will get you over here. But again, I haven't seen a hole in one without jumps, which is basically what I mean when I say I haven't seen a hole in one. On like every hole because jumps are obviously amazing but we have gotten a birdie and like on every every possible hole here my preferred shot is to go about three and maybe just a touch right of pixels of center here usually end up in a pretty good spot this one actually ended up farther away because we're on the 18th hole I like to zoom out aim about three and a half just over that and then aim towards this big rock right here and that'll launch us with a pretty good chance to get down in there. If you got super lucky, you obviously could make that. And then, but it gives us a nice little easy birdie here. And even if you miss it, you're going to more than likely be in a situation to still hit the birdie. And I, by and by miss, I mean land on that first level. All right. So sorry I talked pretty fast. Sorry I said sorry so much. This whole this this course is um, easily my least favorite course. Uh, of the three it's not even close i love forest and twilight and they're a lot of fun this one's kind of frustrating with the max score or the min score sorry excuse me being so high it just doesn't feel like it's that much that's fun so um sorry i couldn't give you more better shots the hole in ones are fairly limited on that as far as it would appear from somebody who hasn't looked up anybody else's shots but i would assume that everybody else is kind of struggling in the same way just because um I could definitely see there being hole in ones on a couple of the holes that I obviously couldn't show you, but there's the long holes that you just you can't possibly get those in one. So that kind of sucks. But look out for the Twilight tutorial be coming out soon. Thank you for watching this one. And if you watch the forest one, I especially thank you for doubling up and uh, coming back. So be safe. We'll catch you guys later.